seven rare animals you won't believe are real. If you're an animal lover, you'll love this video. These are some of the rarest animals you can imagine. They look like something out of a science fiction show, but they are completely real. Cross our hearts. Keep watching to be thrilled as you learn about an octopus that seems to have elephant ears, a squid that's said to come from hell, a spider that looks like a bunny, and many other strange creatures. Prepare yourself, and don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications to join us on the bright side of life. Number 7. Barrel Eye Fish if you've ever wanted to have Superman's X-ray vision, looking at the barrel eye fish will make you feel like you gain the power at some point in your life without even realizing it. The barrel eye has a transparent head, so you can see how their eyes and brain look inside. This magnificent creature lives in the deep sea. This is the lowest level of the ocean, where strange creatures roam in near-freezing temperatures and constant darkness. They're exposed to water pressure that's almost 1,000 times that of surface water. If the idea of the deep ocean sends a shiver down your spine, stay tuned to learn about another of its creatures later on. The barrel eye fish can be found in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. You might be wondering, why oh why would a fish have a see-through head? And that would be a fair question. Since the species was discovered in 1939, it was believed that the fish's eyes were set to see straight ahead and couldn't move, so it was assumed that they had tunnel vision. Scientists Bruce Robeson and Kim Reisenbeichler from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute recently discovered that the fish can move its eyes vertically to see through the top of its translucent head, thus noticing if there are predators or prey nearby. The transparent head also allows more light to enter so they can detect prey better. It's believed that barrel eye fish eats jellyfish and small fish species. Number 6. Elephant Shrew These mammals are almost too cute to handle, so hold on to your seats, folks! The elephant shrew is native to Africa, where it roams the continent wide and large. Even though they are spread over a large area of land, it is very rare to see them. They are usually found in forests and prefer to live in places with a lot of leaf coverage on the ground, and they feast there on insects, spiders, and earthworms. When they venture into the African desert, they're hard to see because their gray fur camouflages well with the rocky area. They are called elephant shrews because their pointy nose has a great amount of mobility, just like an elephant's trunk. Though they are called shrews, they aren't technically part of the shrew family, but a species of their own. These cute little animals also eat seeds and fruits, and they live for two to four years. Number 5. Vampire Squid Its species name is Vampirotuthis infernalis, which translates to Vampire Squid from Hell. Oh yes! This vampire squid means to terrify everyone with its name, its dark red color, its spikes at the bottom, and the scary fact that it can basically turn itself inside out. The vampire squid loves putting on a good show, but it's as harmless as a kitten is to humans. It's as if Dracula scared the pants off of you, but he didn't have blood-sucking fangs. The vampire squid feeds on food particles from plants and animal matter floating near the ocean surface. Since they're not predators, they need good defensive strategies, and their vampiric look is designed to ward off large creatures who want to eat them. Turning themselves inside out is a defensive mechanism since the spiky areas in the inner skin are more intimidating. They also shoot out a substance that does not have color, but is packed with bioluminescent particles to distract predators. Number 4. Venezuelan Poodle Moth Disclaimer, if you look at this animal for too long, your brain could implode. It's almost too much for the human brain to comprehend what this animal is trying to be. Thankfully, some brave people tried to make it easy for the rest of the population. They named it a poodle moth so that everyone could begin to put the pieces together. This moth was brought to everyone's attention when it was first photographed by zoologist Arthur Anker while he was visiting the Gran Sabana region in Venezuela. 
This moth is so rare that very little is known about it. What is generally agreed upon is that the moth is probably part of the Lepetoteran genus Artis. The rest remains a mystery. Number 3. Blue Dragon This little creature looks like something out of a kid's fantasy movie. It's called the Blue Glossus, casually referred to as a blue dragon or blue angel. It can be found in many places, the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. It's a kind of mollusk and it only grows to be about an inch long. What you think is the back is actually the mollusk's bright underbelly. It regularly floats on its back so that its blue colors help to camouflage it with the water's waves. The blue dragon isn't just pretty, it's also smart. It usually feasts on Portuguese man-o-wars and it stores their stinging cells for later use, in essence, stealing their defensive mechanisms. When the blue dragon is threatened, it releases those stinging cells it stored, directing them at an enemy to sting them with more power than a Portuguese man-o-war would have been capable of. As they can store a huge amount of stinging cells, they can be a threat to humans. So, if you find one, don't pick it up! It's best to admire them from a distance. Number 2. Bunny Harvest Man It sounds cute, but don't be fooled. If spiders scare you, close your eyes or just keep one eye open. Though terrifying, this is a very interesting creature. Put a bunny's head on the body of a spider and this is what you get. The Bunny Harvest Man has been found in the Amazon rainforest in Ecuador. Technically, it isn't a spider. It's considered to be part of the Opilionis species, making it a daddy long legs. You'd think that the two bright yellow spots near its ears would be the eyes, but not so. The eyes are located on what seems to be the nose. What you think are the eyes are just spots, and what you think is a nose are the eyes. It's impossible to tell what the bunny harvest man is and where its body parts are at first glance, but maybe that's how it likes it. Its odd shape and black color of its bunny dog head could serve to keep predators at bay. Though the name Harvest Man sounds ominous, this creature isn't a threat to humans since it doesn't carry venom. Number 1. Dumbo Octopus This adorable creature, or creepy creature, or however you want to see it, is officially called Grimpo Toothis. More casually, it is referred to as the Dumbo Octopus, named after the Disney character. Though Dumbo, the elephant, not the octopus, was teased for his big ears, it's highly unlikely that this adorable octopus gets teased by its water neighbors. They are the deepest living octopuses living in the deep sea. And you know how scary that place is. They are only about 8 inches tall and spend their days hovering just above the sea floor eating snails, worms, and other foods they find in the current or near ocean vents. There are nearly 17 species of Dumbo octopus, and they all have differences in height, color, and body parts. If you can't get enough of strange animals, you'll be glad to learn that the deep sea has barely been explored by humans. So keep an eye out! there are bound to be more fascinating animals discovered in the deep sea in the future. So tell us, Brightsiders, which of these animals would you like to see up close? Tell us in the comments section. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the Bright Side.